Welcome back with us right now from the United Board is Gary Morrison. Gary is now the board treasurer, right? Thank you. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very and, much. And uh, you started this position just uh, over the last month. This over is my first time <laughs> as yes, treasurer. Yes, it is. And I would like to thank the United Board for having mm -hmm. their faith in me. And <laughs> I'm taking That's the place great. of Pat English, yes. who is having surgery. And the board and myself would like to wish her a quick oh, very recovery. very good. Sure, me too. Very nice. So we'll get started here. And uh, the first thing you want to talk about is the year to date. Yes, uh, we're going to start into the revenues. Yeah. The total revenues for United through October 31st were $32,724 as compared to the expenses of 30,337,000, resulting in net revenue of $22,387,000. Mm -hmm. um, our, through October, United was better than budgeted by 3,316,000, primarily due to outside services in the reserve programs. Uh, expenditures were in waistline replacements, which work started in late May. Building structures, we had fewer replacements. Water lines, we had fewer replacements. And countertops, we had fewer replacements. Okay. So therefore, that's why we had some extra money left from, <coughs> from what we budgeted. Um, our revenues, uh, the, the majority of it, 28% of the uh, of it was from interest income, 15% from our laundries, and 14% from our, our resale processing fees. Um, we had a favorable variance in programs, which were partially offset because of an unfavorable variance in compensation and related expenses. Resolution 01 17-25 approved unbudgeted expenses of 375,000 in landscape, uh, which was mainly for the tree trimming, and mm -hmm. that was not planned, so therefore kind of went against our budget. Okay. Um, all the tree work was completed, and staff anticipates minimal off-schedule work now for the remainder of the year. Um, We, the reserve balances October 31st were 22.9 million. Our contributions and interest to reserves were uh, 10,217,000. Our year to date expenditures were 7,712,000. Um, I want to also say that uh, the United Board is going to be taking up the elimination of guarantors at the next meeting. Okay. Um, <laughs> any guarantors now living in the village will, will be grandfathered in, so people don't have to get excited about this. Okay. The reason that we're looking at this is um, the fact that it has not gone up in many, many years. As we know, everything else has gone up, and therefore, in order to keep things pretty stable and average, we feel that we need to increase these. Now, I would say to any, anyone in our listening audience that, that is concerned about this, that they come to the United Board meeting and voice what they feel. Mm -hmm. uh, we're more than willing to listen, and uh, this is not cast in stone, so we're very willing to listen. Okay. <clears throat> um, we're also talking about uh, raising the minimum income requirement from 36,000 to 40,000. And again, this is because it has not, we have not looked at it for many years and we just think it's kind of out of date. Okay. Uh, one of my main concerns is waistline remediation. And we are going to be delving into this. Um, I think as most of the audience realizes, uh, we have not uh, really gone into this program significantly and mm -hmm. we're having a lot of problems with backups and flooding and um, our sewers are just, they've outlived their life. Right, right. 
So um, it's going to be very expensive, so we have to figure out how we're going to do it. And uh, we are now, uh, I'm also going to be working with the uh, Steve Parsons from Third. Okay. Um, we're hoping that maybe working together we can get better pricing <coughs> and uh, on, on uh, outside contractors. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, I think for the audience, you'll be interested in knowing that we are discussing for United earthquake insurance. And uh, we're going to be probably at the next meeting, uh, we'll be voting on whether we're going to go into this or not. Uh, we've, we've talked to the insurer and, and it sounds pretty good for us. Okay. And I think it's, it's um, to our advantage. And then I think lastly, I'd like to put a plug in um, for the Good Neighbor Captain program. And as, as the last time I was on, I've gone around and I've talked to people and we need neighborhood <coughs> captains. Mm -hmm. And there are forms that need to be filled out by people. And, and it, this is for the benefit of our own people because if something major happens and someone's knocked unconscious, we need to know what medications they're on, et right. cetera, so that when we send them to emergency, <clears throat> mm -hmm. there's no, they're not talking. So yeah. we've got to be able to, to tell emergency uh, what medications they're on, that kind of thing. So it's, it's very important that people let yeah. this program know what's going on in their lives. That's true. Um, we would also like to know anyone in the village with a medical background because if any of this happens, we would like to be able to pull them in to triage because the hospitals will not be able to take everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So um, I think that pretty much winds up what I need to say. Okay, very good and uh, uh, great uh, that you're doing this now. Pat did a wonderful job she for did. several years, I think. She did. I think it was several she was, years she yes. did that. Yeah. And uh, best to her yes. for her surgery. Yeah. And hopefully she has a, a quick recovery. recovery. Yes. All right. Happy Thanks. holidays to you. Thank you. Same Thank to you. Take care. We'll be right back.